Today we're going to learn how to make a light up jack-o-lantern with paper circuits. So we're going to start by drawing and cutting out our pumpkin. I recommend that you get a template sheet that you're interested in or that you're a piece of scrap paper so that you can draw out pumpkins until you find one you're interested in. And then you're just going to tape it down in order to keep it from moving around as you try and sketch it out, okay? And we'll peel up the tape. Finish off the pieces that the tape was covering up. Then get torque cutting. Now you can always cut these out with scissors by punching in a hole, um, but I like my finished product to look a little bit neater than that, so I use an X-Acto knife. And we have our pumpkin. Now, if you have line marks on the outside and don't want to erase them, you just flip your pumpkin over the other way and you have a nice pristine side. Now we'll want to cut two more pieces of white paper to fit in the frame of our pumpkin. They don't need to be perfect. They just need to be smaller than the pumpkin so that they won't be visible on the outside. So I'm just giving some marks I know I need to cut down lower than. Try it on our pumpkin. You can see that I still need to cut a bit lower at the top and right here. You're going to want to take your pumpkin um, and whatever side is your wrong side, you want to have that facing up as you trace out your eye holes onto a piece of white paper and your mouth hole. We're not going to cut these out. These are going to be our guidelines on where we put our LEDs. So. This is our wrong side of our pumpkin, so in the end, we'll have our right side here with our guide on the background, on the back, for where we're going to want to put our LEDs so that they shine through the, the eyes and the mouth at where we want them to. That'll help us with our tape. We're gonna set our pumpkin aside for now and just use our white paper template. On this, we're going to place some copper tape. On top of those, we'll place some LEDs and we'll also use our battery. Our binder clip isn't necessary for this part, but we will want it if we want to keep our pumpkin on for any length of time. Now, roughly speaking, you need to sketch out what you think you want to do for your pumpkin. We have a battery here. It has a positive side on the top and a negative side on the bottom. We're going to run a negative bit of copper tape down between our eyes and our mouth. We're not going to we're not going to tape it or anything yet. Okay? And then we're going to run a positive piece of well, a copper tape but it's going to be the positive circuit. The copper tape's not actually different, but how it interacts with the battery is. We're going to run another piece of copper tape on the outside of our pumpkin, okay? And we're going to, in order to turn our pumpkin on and off, fold our side up so that it touches the battery and completes a circuit. Now, it's not completing a circuit right now because we don't have our LEDs in place. But once we get our LEDs in place, we'll complete our circuit. So, let's get started. You'll also want some plastic tape. Some just plain clear tape. That's going to do things for us like hold our battery down. 
So if I look at this piece of copper tape, I don't need it to go all the way out this far because I'm going to place my LEDs where they will be visible in front of my eyes. So I only need it to about here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and tape it down. One detail about this copper tape is that it does not necessarily have conductive adhesive, which means that if you have an oopsie and realize you want this to go longer, you can't just tape it on like, like this because the adhesive isn't conductive. You'll need to fold it over before taping it and um, tape some, use some plastic tape to make sure that your connection stays. Okay, so that is my negative. I'm going to tape my battery down. There we go. I don't want to tape my whole battery. I'm taping just part of it because I want to make sure that the positive part of the battery is still available for folding over the copper tape we're going to put on. Now, electricity flows in a circuit, so that's why I keep talking about negative and positive. The electricity will flow out the positive and go through the LEDs to come back the negative and talk to the battery. It's this nice little loop here that makes, that forces the electricity to go through our LED. Again, for those of you um, with electrical engineering parents out there, this is a, a slightly simplified example. We're gonna take our next piece of copper tape. I don't pull all of the backing off at once because I don't want it to get unruly. We're going to start it up in this corner, follow the path. Oh, I started it too far out. I forgot. I'm gonna start it around here, the top of the eye. Follow this path. We're going to make as neat a fold as we can up in this top corner. Again, since our tape doesn't have conductive adhesive. We don't want to actually cut it here. We just want to make a neat little pleat fold. Your folds may not be as neat as that. It's okay. That's not going to make or break your project. See, this fold isn't going to be so neat. There we go. Okay. As you can see, this didn't get to the edge of my mouth. Doesn't particularly matter. What matters is that I can get my LED where I want to, touching two sides of the copper tape. Okay? So now we're gonna see that our tape works. Take our binder clip right now because I don't have enough hands, but when I'm doing this with my kiddos, they are my hands. And I'm going to binder clip this fold closed so that our battery is now connected to our positive sides and our negative side of here. And then if you look at your LEDs, they have a longer, well, let's see if we can focus. There we go. Let's see. They have a longer and a shorter side on them. Not getting it to focus as well as I want, but you'll be able to see it on your own. Um, this determines which side is positive and negative. And I'm gonna be honest, I always forget. So I just try both ways with my LEDs until I find the one that works. And that clearly is the one that works. Now, you may find once you've got your tape down that your LED no longer lights. You'll want to double check and make sure that it's actually making connection with the copper tape here and not just floating over it. So you have a variety of LEDs in your pack. You can choose which ones you want for the various eyes. 
I'm going to do, or the various lights you want, I'm going to do yellow eyes and a red mouth. So, get this one going. It looks good to me. I type, tape down the positive side, but I don't tape down the negative because I'm going to wait until I have my mouth LED lines up so I can tape them all at once because what I don't want to do is tape over this copper tape and have nowhere to put my LED for my mouth. See, okay. Now, some of you may be worried about short circuiting here. Normally we would chain, if, if you've done anything with um, sewable circuits, you know that they short circuit really easily, but that you can usually chain the LEDs together. These LEDs can't be chained together, but they also don't short circuit. And that's because they don't allow a lot of electricity to go through them. So if you think of um, a hose of water and the fact that if you are trying to, say, have a drip system work or something like that, only a little bit of water goes through each of the holes in your hose, and you still have water for the future holes at your hose as long as your pressure is turned all the way up. So our electricity is turned all the way up because we're not using any resistors, and these LEDs um, are only allowing a certain amount of electricity through them because that's all they're capable of. And so it's leaving more electricity for the future ones. So I'm going to tape down my next eye LED. That looks good to me. And remember, I'm just taping it on the positive end. We'll tape all of the negative ends together. That one's staying lit because it's not popping up. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to do a couple of LEDs for my mouth. There looks good. Right in the middle. And one on this end. Again, I'm pretty bad at remembering which ends of the LED are positive and negative. It does matter if you're not getting them to light up. Just flip them around the other way and try that way. This is why I like to keep my battery engaged while I am doing this. I'm going to fold all this tape down that's on the bottom so it's not in my way. There we go. Now we'll work on taping the top up. Make sure they all still work. Yep. I got this tape down but I don't like how how uh, just on the edge of the copper my LED is. It's working now but that is prone to failure if we move it all. There we go. There we go, we have a glowing pumpkin face. If we flip it over, we can see that it's glowing through. See how that red one's kind of blinking off and on on me? I wanna make sure that it is touching the tape and I'm gonna do that by bending the wire just a little bit inside of the tape. And now as I flip it around, it's a lot nicer. Now the whole reason we have another sheet of paper to use because as you can see, the reflected light off the back of the paper makes this glow much better. Um, and so it just kind of depends on what kind of look you're looking for. So now I'm gonna unfold this. So it's off. I'm going to grab my pumpkin. I'm gonna make sure I have everything lined up correctly. Fold it back over again so I can make sure that it's working for me. It is, all my lights are on and I like kind of where they look. And then I'm going to tape this down. 
As you're taping, make sure you don't tape this folded edge over. We're gonna need to be able to fold that ourselves. And then we're going to tape our next piece on top. Doesn't need to be super tight. And we want to leave this side over here loose so that we have room underneath to clip this other side, okay? And now we have a completed pumpkin. And in order to display it, you can use your binder clip here. I find that this top clip gets in the way, so that's the great thing about binder clips, you can just fold that down. And now we have a pumpkin that we can hang in our window for Halloween. It's glow in different colors. That's kind of up to you and how you want to use your LEDs.